This video will teach you how to use the Stock tab in Parts and Supplies. The Stock tab allows you to fill in basic information about parts and supplies items, such as the stock levels at each location. I'll start by adding the stock level information by selecting the New button. I'll select the item location from the drop-down menu and add the current stock level to the Quantity on Hand field. Next, I'll state the minimum stock level that can be present at any given time by adding the value to the Minimum Quantity field. The minimum quantity is an important field. When stock levels for an item drop below the minimum quantity, personnel assigned to the item are notified that the stock is low. A request for quota is sent to suppliers and the item is automatically populated in the purchasing planning board where it can be purchased. You can also add the aisle, row, and storage bin information for the part in this storage facility. My changes are saved by selecting OK. You can have as many stock locations you like for each part. It's the same part, just stocked in many locations. Clicking on any stock will also display its whole history. To replenish your stock, you can receive the item. This can be done from the Purchasing module or manually from the Parts page by selecting New in the Receipts window. If I add a receipt for this item, stock levels per location will be added and adjusted automatically. I have my receipt for this item, so I'll add the record. I'll select New, add the supplier, date ordered and received, quantity received, price, where it was received to, and hit Receive. We can see that the stock level at the primary storage location has now been incremented by 15. We had 20, received 15, so now we have 35. Now let's see what happens when I adjust my stock levels to below the minimum stock quantity. We can see that the stock location is highlighted yellow. This indicates that the stock level is low. The users under the Personnel tab have automatically been notified that stock is low, and the item now appears in the Purchasing Planning Board where it can be purchased directly. That's it for the stocks and minimum quantity. Thanks for watching this video.